Hi, this is Kanna Babu. This is part 10 of the food court project. The last class we discussed about how to update the stock, right? And uh, the role of salesperson. So here salesperson will log in with his username and password and click on sign in. Salesperson can view the stock details and uh, he can make the sales. So whenever you click on make sales here, here you can see, your salesperson can view the stock details and he can make the sales. So I already designed the make sales screen here, if you observe clearly. And um, I created two tables in my database, one is bill transaction and the other one is bill master. Within the bill transaction table, you can see you have to BID is a bill transaction ID, BM ID, bill master ID, item number, quantity, amount. And here uh, BM ID, total sales, total amount, date and employee ID in bill master table. So here if you observe, this is my make sales screen. So for example, one customer will come to the shop and um, let us assume his BA, bill ID is B1. And he will select the item type, something like a pizza. And um, he will uh, enter the item name. Item name, something like veg pizza. And he uh, and uh, in in this screen actually, one customer can buy multiple items. For example, one customer came to the shop. He want to buy three veg pizzas, two chicken pizzas, and three cool drinks. So here, the total sales that the customer is doing is three. Each and every particular sale details you have to store in bill transaction table. And as these three sales done by one customer, we have to generate one bill master ID. So in this screen, let us check it out. How many programs we need to write in this screen? So if you observe clearly, I already written the programs here. Here you can see, this is my notepad. Here I already written the list of programs that we have to right under make sales screen program number one is i want to display the current system date and time in a label control that is the program number one and we already discussed that we are working with timer event timer control will have a property called enabled by default timer enabled is false and whenever timer enabled is true then automatically tick event will fire and within that tick event, I am uh, writing the code to display the current system date along with what time. Is it clear? That is program number one. Program number two, we need to auto generate the bill ID. And program number three, we need to bind the item types in combo box one. Based on the item types, display the item names in combo box two. For example, if you select pizza here, I want to display all the pizza related uh, items in combo box 2 and program number 5 is when salesperson select item name whenever the salesperson or customer came to the shop he is asking I want 3 veg pizzas so whenever he select the veg pizza here then automatically display the price of the veg pizza in txt price text box that is program number 5 is it clear and program number 6 Whenever salesperson enters quantity, here one more point is very complicated here. As we already discussed that, the admin will update the stock and all the stock details are stored in where? Items table. Right, for example, if you consider here in items table, I have some uh, stock is there, like item number, I name, quantity, price and item type number. Now the salesperson is doing the sales. For example, one customer came to the shop, he want to buy three veg pages. So here I will enter 3 here. So what will happen whenever the customer has done the transaction. Here one point is that the number of pizzas that the customer, which pizzas that the customer want to buy must be less than the number of pizzas that are available in the stock. That is in the items table. For example if the customer want to buy 40 veg pizzas. But the available veg pizzas are how many? 30. So if the quantity that the salesperson is entering is greater than the quantity that is available in the items table, then it has to display the error message saying that there is no stock. I hope you understood. 
for example, if the customer is wants to buy five uh, cold drinks, uh, five Sprite, but there are no Sprite in that, uh, in a original in your items table, your only two Sprites are there. So he cannot sell that item. In that case, it has to display the error message saying that no stock is available. That is program number uh, six. That's what I told here. When salesperson enters quantity, check whether the quantity is less than the quantity in items table or not. Program number seven. When users leaves the quantity text, text box, then display the total amount in TXT amount text box. For example, uh, the salesperson is entering one customer wants to buy three veg pizzas. So here he will enter three. Now once when he leaves the quantity text box, then automatically it has to calculate the total amount. We can calculate the total amount based on quantity into price so that it will display the total amount. Is it clear? That is program number 7. And uh, here program number 8. Actually whenever you click on continue button, we need to insert what? BID, bill master ID, item number, quantity, amount. So you need to insert the item number actually here. You are selecting item name but we need to insert what? Item number. In that case, you have to write the program to get the item number based on item name. That is program number 8 I have written. Get item number based on item name. Program number 9. See here, what I am trying to tell here is, one customer came to the shop, he has done 3 sales. 2 veg pizzas, 3 veg burgers, 2 sprites. So, but these all, for all these sales, that we will give only one bill to the customer. So bill master ID is B1. Is it clear? And the bill ID is three bill IDs will be. For each and every sales, an individual bill ID will be generated and each and every sale details will be stored in bill transaction table. And for the three bill transactions, one BM ID will be generated. That is the reason here you need to generate the bill master ID also. Here one more program is there. Auto generate bill ID and auto generate bill master ID also. Is it clear? That is program number 12 is also added there. And here program number 9, when user clicks on continue button, when user clicks on continue button, we need to insert the BM ID in bill master table. If you observe clear, in bill master table BM ID is primary key, in bill transaction table BM ID is foreign key. We cannot insert the record in foreign key table until unless the record is available in primary key table. So first, you need to insert the BMID in bill master table and at the same time we need to insert BID, BMID, item number, quantity, amount in bill transaction table. That is the requirement. The for each and every sales you need to and in order to insert employee number, I think we need to insert, okay. When you click on continue button, three times the customer wants to, first first item details I will add continue, second item continue, third item continue. So three times the bill ID will be generated. But these three sales are done by one customer, so only one BM ID will be generated. I hope you understood. And whenever you click on generate bill, what I want to do here, I want to insert the BM ID, total sales the customer has done total amount, date and in uh, employee ID. So that is the reason. Employee ID means the salesperson who is doing the sales. That employee ID also I want to store. For that, uh, here uh, you have to write one more program to get the employee number from salesperson login in make sales. In salesperson login actually, the employee is login with his username and password. Based on the username, we need to get what? Employee number. And that employee number we need to insert in the uh, table and program number 11 is when user clicks on generate bill here one more thing whenever user clicks on generate bill it means that the transaction has been completed successfully it means that uh, the salesperson has sold the items to the customer so we need to uh, deduct the amount from where item uh, deduct the number of items that are available from items table for example, if the customer has buy 10 veg pizzas, so we need to update this quantity of veg pizza from 30 to 20. For that, we need to write the program. And at the same time, 
we need to insert bmid total sales total amount date of purchase employee id in bill master table is it clear so this is the requirement of uh, make sales screen so in the next uh, video i will try to explain you how to write the coding for this is it clear i hope you understand try to understand this uh, scenario of this screen so that uh, we can um, write the coding for the screen right i hope you understand for more videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, you can uh, log into my facebook group www.facebook.com/group/worldof.net have a nice day thank you